That's right, we are over here at the main stage at Ballpark Village, and I'm Katie, I'm joined by Megan, who you guys probably know as the princess of promotions and the queen of themes at the Cardinals. She's the one probably outfitting a good 20% of you. Raise your hand if you are wearing a promotional item or a giveaway from the Cardinals. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of people. <laughs> well, that is thanks to Megan Everhart here. Megan, what do you think when you see like your items out on the fan? It is so awesome and so exciting, not just to see the items here at the ballpark, but around town. And you know, Katie and I go to spring training every year, and it's so fun to see one of our fans travel with an item that they got at Bush Stadium. Absolutely, I think I can't go anywhere without seeing somebody wearing at least one thing that you've developed in your mind and made happen yeah, for fans. so fun, so exciting. All right, so I know you guys are here to get autographs, you're here to hear from some alumni, but I hope a good handful of you are here to see what we've got coming down the line in 2023. And because of that, Megan is here to show us. So let's start with fan favorites, bobbleheads. Yeah, so Katie, everyone likes to remind us that we had a really popular giveaway bobblehead last year, the triple bobblehead. Yeah, that was big. Uh, <laughs> I hear some fans of the audience love, did you get one? All three? Oh, bummer. Well, we have another opportunity for you to get an Albert Pujols and Yadier Molina bobblehead, but it is a mystery pitching bobblehead. So do you remember last year where you were whenever you heard that they were going to the mound to pitch during the regular season game? Yeah, it was hilarious. So, I think people were texting left and right, what's going on, what's happening here? So we created this, these bobbleheads and it's a mystery. So you won't know which one you get until you come through the gates that day. And the giveaway day is April 1st. Perfect, April Fool's Day. So let's put this puppy up here a little bit so they can get a nice look at him. So we've got Yachty in his road gray and Albert in his home white, both of them pitching a pose you are not gonna see really ever again. Right, and speaking of last year, Nolan Arenado had a great game when he hit for the cycle on July 1st. And so we are commemorating that with this bobblehead later this season. And I know this is gonna be popular because this morning Arenado was signing autographs and there were a lot of people here to see him. Did you guys all get an Arenado autograph? Who got one? Anybody? Anybody? Ah, right there. Addy. Yeah. I see you. All right, so we've got a lot of people excited about these baubles. And we I also know... have a lot that we don't have here to oh. show you, but I wanna talk about it. So we have the Albert Pujols 703 home run bobblehead. Of course, we're bringing back the Mystery Hall of Fame car parade bobblehead. Okay. Um, Ozzy Smith wizard bobblehead, so I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's gonna be really cool. And then the Cardinals are playing the Cubs in London. So we had to commemorate that with a bobblehead and it will be Adam Wainwright in a London guard uniform. Have you guys released any photos of that one yet? No. All right. So stay tuned to our website and you will see it very soon. And we are going to show Ryan Helsley his bobblehead later today for the first time. Like he gets to see it. He gets to see it. All right. Can't wait for his review. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be positive. I've seen the Helsley one and it looks pretty good. Yeah, he's with his pup, Major. It would be a lot cooler if somehow you got all the lights to turn red when you brought him out, but. We'll work on that for 24. All right, Yeah. perfect. Okay, so I know you said bobbleheads are pretty much the number one item that fans always wanna see, fans collect. I'm more in it for the wearables. That's why I did a raise of hands earlier to see who was wearing stuff. So what kind of stuff do you have that we're gonna see fans sporting around St. Louis and on the road next year? So, so many wearable items. We start with this lightweight, long sleeve hooded pullover. It's gray and it has a Cardinal logo on the front, that's Cardinals baseball. It's perfect for those cooler summer nights at the ballpark. All right. One item that I am so excited about is this mystery Henley. And everyone says, what is a Henley? And it means it has buttons at the top, a collar, and different colored sleeves. Okay, so we got this, you can, you can show yeah. it off and I'll describe it for those who aren't close up here. So this is the mystery Henley that Megan is talking about. And when you come through the gates, the fans are gonna get this, but it might not be in that color. What color options do we have here? Just these two? We have navy, light blue, and then red. And so you won't have to sit by your buddies at the ball game and look like twins the whole game. You guys can all get unique shirts. Well, that's thoughtful. All right, so we've got the mystery Henley coming this uh, summer for the first time ever. And I see some jerseys. Obviously, fans want to get jerseys when they come through. Yeah, a couple years ago, we introduced that nickname jersey because Cardinals players and Cardinals fans love to create nicknames. Yeah. So it's been so fun. So we're continuing the series this year with Engine 42, Red 2, the Machine, number five. And then of course, Goldie, 46. And so, Katie, we keep talking about this, but it's a mystery. You won't know which one you get until you come through the gates that day. And those are on baby blue. Any reason that you picked that one? Well, we did red and navy. Now it's time for the baby blue. 
All right, so those are some mystery nickname jerseys, and when are those gonna be, do you know? Have you memorized the schedule yet? Uh, early. Early, <laughs> they're gonna be early, so make sure you get I tickets haven't. for early games if you guys want that mystery one. All right, I see some more taps down the line. Uh, let's go to that guy over there on the edge. What the is that hockey one, Hockey sweater. Do we have any Blues fans here? Yay. All right, we got a couple Blues. Uh, you know, I was walking over here from the stadium and I saw quite a few people wearing the hockey sweater giveaway. Here we go. I'll hold it up. You can uh, Once talk Once again, about it. we went with the baby blue theme. It has the cardinal bird on the front on a hockey stick, and it has the laces at the top. So it's a definitely a unique item. I know we've done this before in a white version, but this is one that fans are going to have to add to their wardrobe for sure. And the blues one's usually later in the yes, season. Yes, that's September. So she's making you guys buy tickets year-round here, if you haven't yeah. noticed. This is one I'm so excited for, because it's just very comical to me. This is the Oliver Print shirt on Memorial Day. But All right. As you can see, it has our partner on it, Budweiser. So it has some, some stars on it, as well as Buzz, Budweiser branding and the Cardinals logo. So that is very, very, very exciting. Very trendy. Yeah, looking good. All right, so then we've got another jersey. And of course, some hats. Now, I don't think I've seen this many hats on the Cardinals promo schedule in a long time. Yeah, I love hats. I think you like wearables, but I love hats. And so, yeah, we have a lot on the calendar. This year, we are home whenever the team celebrates Jackie Robinson. So we are giving away this hat at the gates that day, April 15th. We have this mesh back, snap back, Angry Bird hat. We did Angry Bird on a rally towel last year. Yeah. And fans really, really like that. So we're bringing it back for this hat. Look at it. Corduroy is in. It's very trendy. So, of course, this corduroy hat with a unique buckle on the back. That's in September. Megan keeping everybody here on trend and of in their course. gear. Cardinals fans have to be the trendiest fans as well. Um, one that I'm really excited about is this white hat. So, it has the Cardinal logo embroidered in gold on the side and a gold metal STL on the front. All right, yeah, Everyone I like this likes one. It. Yeah, it's very, very, very classy. You got a couple of these? No. Oh, well. yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. But um, yeah, so it's it's very, it's gonna be one that I think fans are gonna wear around town, not just to the ballpark. Absolutely. Okay, then I know an item that you've been bringing back the last couple of seasons that's been really popular is the Cardinals purse. I am guessing that there's some people that have them here today. Oh, she's nodding. She's like, yeah, okay. I'm ready for that. Uh, <laughs> So a purse is coming back, I guess? Of course. We have two purse type items this year. Starting in May, we have this belt bag. Oh, she's giving the fist pumps for this. Yeah. I'm not kidding. There is somebody in the audience giving you the fist pumps tickets? for the belt bag. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah, so this is a super functional bag. I love this. Give her item. the belt bag, Megan. Give her maybe, the belt bag. Maybe. <laughs> um, but what you need to know is that this fits Bush Stadium bag requirements. So whenever you come to the game and you get this at the ballpark, you can bring it back. So you don't have to think and Google and see, remember what you can bring to the ballpark. I'm promising you can bring this back next season. It's got great zippers on it. You'll be able to hold everything and be hands-free to catch those home run, run baseball. I like it. And so you've got a lot of people covered with the purses. Now let's talk about the kiddos. I know you always have kiddo items on store yeah, for us. Yeah, yeah, of course. We have to have kid items. We have a kid's jersey, um, a kid's growth poster, the Build-A-Bear furry friend. But we are starting in uh, early in the season with a long sleeve hooded pullover. And I've got a special friend here to debut that for us. Come on up. Come on up, Addie. Model it. We've got a Show model showing Woo! everybody here. Look at wow, her, guys. Doesn't Woo! she look great? So 10,000 kiddos can match Adeline when they come to the game. Now, Megan, why do you always want to do so many kid items? Because I have three of them. <laughs> all right, Addie, how old are you? Six. And who's your favorite Cardinals player of all time? Our pools. Wow. So you got to see him play for the first time last year in St. Louis because you're only six, right? You became a fan overnight. So how would you like to get an Albert Pujols jersey for kids? <laughs> She's considering. <Good. laughs> That's great. So yes, in June, kids will go home with this Albert Pujols kids jersey. And that day, the grownups will go home with a Saturday alternate Albert Pujols jersey as well. Uh -huh. So kids and their grownups can match. I love it. Thank you, Addie. Thanks, Addie.
Looking, give it us one more spin, Addy. Let's see what we got. There she goes. <laughs> Our kiddo model. All right, so we've got stuff for the grown-ups, stuff for the cuties, and you've got some just random items that all fans love. I already see you picking them up here. Is it gonna be the final year of the Yachty Tumblers? I'm not gonna promise that, but I'm gonna say it's the best year. This is my favorite, once again, mystery. And I will admit, a lot of times when we do the mystery concept, it's because I can't make a decision. We get all these samples and they're all so great and I love them all, so why not give the fans the opportunity to get one of each? And so this is the Mystery Yachty Tumbler back again. I love it, those look really good. I think I have mine from the first time that you did a Yachty Tumbler. They yeah. hold up really well. These things are great for hot or cold beverages and you know, you guys can take them anywhere you want. Yeah, and I should mention next year we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of the 2013 team. Wow, seems like forever. And so we are doing the beer stein to celebrate that team um, to add to your collection, your series. I love it. All right, so Megan, it looks like you have stuff covered left, right, top to bottom. There is not a corner that you haven't checked off here. So what do you want fans to know about promotional items? Where can they find out more information and details? Yeah, everything is on our website and we're continually updating it. It's cardinals.com slash promotions. Uh, we love whenever you guys get to the gates early to collect all these great goodies and to see you wear them back to the ballpark and display them proudly in your home. I've seen the photos of some of your, your man caves and they're great. And um, we just love that you guys support us and support the giveaways. And uh, it's all thanks to our partners too. We have phenomenal partners that love to um, be aligned with the Cardinals, so. That's great. Well, Megan, thank you for bringing all of this stuff down. Megan is around for a little bit on the side of the stage if you wanna see anything up close and decide what games you guys want tickets for. And again, you know, we're obviously here to support Cardinals Care and everything that they do. So make sure you guys check out those 50-50s that are going around. I see some of the guys in green. You can also do that online. Uh, get in line for your autographs based on the correct numbers that are located on the screens of those areas. We are gonna be back here with John Rooney very soon to do a little Q&A. So if you guys wanna talk to John, make sure you guys are in the main stage area. We'll be doing that in just a little bit and plenty of uh, updates coming your way from Cards Care. Thanks for joining us and we'll be back at the desk soon.